Hey yo, what is going on guys? Cash and Clean here, and for today's video, I just wanted to talk about this Paragon update and how to even get started with this, how the levels work, how everything works in general, so you guys don't get too confused. So I'm just going to go straight into it. So when you're at the hub, you can just go right over here, actually, just next to the statue, next to this uh, clubhouse thing. If you go just under here, this is where all the magic takes place. Not really, but as far as everything in the update, it's, it's all right here. So over here, we got the ring crafting bench, we got the ring polisher, which is for your rings, and then we got the paragon workbench, which is all the mastery stuff here, and then you got some recipes. And then we got this guy. This guy is where all the pay to win happens. So if I just click right here, as you can see, this is the PTS, by the way, so everything is, you know, like it is. Like, I don't have this many credits. Kind of wish I did, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, you're going to need pinatas. Pinatas are going to drop literally everything that you possibly need just for this update. So I'm just going to quickly talk about these Trovian loop stuff, your levels and all of that stuff real quick. So pretty much, so after you've reached level 30 on some kind of class, so at the moment I have my Ice Age here, my Ice, all of my characters are level 30 by the way, so usually your class is going to say level 1, like if I go to my Gunslinger for example, it's just going to say level 1, zero experience. I kind of leveled up my Ice Age a little bit, so that's why I'm at level 2 with 58% there at the top. So pretty much in the patch notes at some point it did say that the journey still continues and that's what they mean by this so pretty much you're gonna have to level up your character and i think it goes up to level a thousand and then it resets so kind of like prestiging in call of duty if you've ever played that and then you just start back all over get your rewards all over again type thing so in a way all of this is kind of like a new mastery kind of thing but not really at the same time it it, it, it kind of is and it kind of isn't if that makes sense so the main important thing here is that you're going to be gaining levels and each time you gain a level let's just go over here again if we look at the trovian loop right here it says awarded for each paragon level earned so you're going to need a bunch of these and as many of these as you can because you'll need them for obviously you know the mounts and stuff here you're also going to need them over here for your ring crafting because there are there are crystal four rings now so if we look over here just for my ice age for example you need trovian loops that's part of the requirements the other thing is a primal loop and then whatever character you have so i have one for the ice age at the moment and then i don't have any for the other classes and in order to even get these things i'll just hover over it each time you go to a prime number. This is kind of where uh, math class kind of comes in handy, but not really. So if you don't know what a prime number is, it's basically a number that you can only multiply by like one and itself pretty much. So like, uh, let's just take five for example, you can do one times five and five times one, but you can't do like two times three or you know two times something else to get five. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you know what prime numbers are. So each time you hit a prime number level, you'll get one of these and keep in mind this is for your current class so let's just say you hit level 5 on ice like if i hit level 5 on ice age i would get one of these right here and since i am level 2 it's a prime number so as you can see i did get a primal loop for my ice age and the thing about leveling up your character is that it takes a lot longer to level up your character so let me just hover over this real quick as you can see right here at the top here i need nearly 3 million xp to go to the next level from 2 so if you can imagine like just starting out with a brand new class like it's pretty easy going from one to two two to three like i'm sure you guys know so after level 30 um yeah you're gonna need a lot of xp here and if you do want a level up guide i literally just made a video on this so you could you could you could just check that out if you want to just say but yeah, all jokes aside uh a quick way to level up your characters after the level 30 mark for your paragon levels and whatnot is going to be five star dungeons and if you don't know five star dungeons are pretty much just five dungeons you know all in one and if someone is doing a five star farm you're, you're going to be doing one five star dungeon then quickly another five star dungeon so you'll just do a bunch and a bunch and and over time, your levels are going to go up a lot. And actually, just recently in the patch notes, it said for Uber 10, you're going to be getting 10% more XP. I quickly glanced over the patch notes and it said something about 10% gaining XP in the Uber 10 top side. So five star dungeons are going to be our friends here, just getting past level 30. But yeah, you're going to need a lot of these considering, you know, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you have to get. But you also could use pinatas. So at the same time, you are going to need pinatas because pinatas will drop you literally everything that you need so let's just go over to this bench real quick if we go to this ally for example it says here that you need a paragon's mark now i have no idea what this is it is tradable by the looks of it it doesn't say it cannot be traded like uh, the trovian loop up here so it can be traded but 
It says very rarely obtained from the primal paragon pinatas. And uh, remember those pinatas I told you about over here? Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of credits, a lot of a lot of pay to win stuff going on over here. So if you thought Trove was ever gonna go bankrupt or if it was ever gonna you know stop being a game in general, it's just gonna keep going strong to be honest with you because they keep adding more things and you know the more things the more money and uh, yeah that's. Gotta love Trove for that, don't you? Trove is just fantastic about that. But yeah, apart from that, you could also be getting these things, which will be for your ring crafting. So if you want to get yourself a chance at getting Crystal 4, yeah, you're going to need some of these. And it looks like there's a limit, but not for this one. Doesn't look like there's a limit for this one. And also, there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. So if we go to the bench, go over to the Paragon Recipes, there is something here. It says weekly. So I'm assuming you can get three a week. Actually, on the bottom here, it says that you can get three a week. And these are going to contain primal loops for your active class. So let's just say I opened it on Ice Age, for example. If I go over here, I'm going to be getting these things for Ice Age. So... Just remember that whatever class you're on, it's going to give you that specific primal loop. And the weird thing I find here is that this is your weekly, and then I guess you can just get this one at any time, as long as you have trophy and loops. So I don't understand the point of the weekly thing and the regular one. But yeah, I don't know. And anyway, if you wanted to get any of these benches, there's the ring polisher and the paragon workbench all right there. So I did kind of briefly go over the ring crafting stuff here. So I'm just going to talk about this a little more. So there's a lot of things here, like a lot of stuff for every one of your classes. So as you can see, if I just hover over this, it says contains one crystal ring with hidden effects for Ice Age class. So this ring could literally be anywhere from level 1 to level 4. It has a really rare chance, extremely rare chance of being level 4. Let me actually just show you this bit of data collected by uh, a friend of mine. So if these things down here, so it says here guaranteed to be crystal 3 or better. So they added this stuff. If they didn't add this stuff, this little chart here will explain to you how much money you would have to spend in order to get Crystal 4 for your classes and just the amount of time and effort you'd have to spend to get a Crystal 4 ring. But they changed that, thank God. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that. That was just when the PTS first launched for this update, but now they've changed some things and we can actually get Crystal 4 rings more easily now. So there's going to be a bit of leapfrog action going on here. I'll, I'll kind of just talk about it. So you're going to have to first craft these things and you're gonna have to hope to get a level two ring because if we go over to the next thing i'm just gonna do ice age for this example you could do any other class i'm just you know using ice age for this specific example so if we look here the recipes are completely the same apart from one thing it says here ring crafters ticket and it used to be a trovian loop so you don't need trovian loops but you need this thing and in order to get this thing it's untradeable but you get it by loot collecting either a crystal one or crystal two ring which you get from the ones back here so if you get what i'm going at here this one is crystal two or better this one is three or better and this is what you're going to want to use to get your crystal four ring because the more of these you get you'll have another chance of getting a completely different box that guarantees you a crystal four ring it doesn't say in here but it's just going to be a random drop in your inventory if that makes sense to you guys if you can get as many of these as you can there's a chance that you can get a crystal four ring box that's guaranteed so hopefully that makes sense to you guys i think you guys got it you get the hang of all this and if we quickly go over the recipes we're going to need this item over here and we have to loot collect crystal three or crystal four rings which you don't want to loot collect crystal four rings so that's literally the highest tier at the moment right now and this is on PTS, so once it goes to live servers, you guys should be ready. But yeah, loot collect your crystal 3 or 4 rings, probably just, you know, your level 3 ones, and see if you can get lucky to get a crystal 4 ring. But if you don't want to take the chances of, you know, trying to get really lucky on either getting that box or getting one from here, then you should just stick with the crystal 3 ring, because that's just as fine. It's not a super big change from 3 to 4, but, you know, it's good to have the highest tier ring at some point. But yeah, hopefully all of this made sense. I'm sure you guys understand it. It is a little bit complicated, but I'm just going to do a quick summary. So long story short, 5 star farms for, you know, gaining your levels after 30. Try to get as many pinatas as you can. Don't buy it, but if you can get your hands on pinatas, throw them. Uh, maybe with a group of friends too. Try to try to gather some people and just try to get as much loot as you can from these things. You got your mastery stuff here, and then we just talked about the ring stuff, so hopefully all of that makes sense. There is the ring polisher, which pretty much polishes your rings. You can get your hidden effects. But the thing with these hidden effects is that it lasts you one week. So kind of like your weekly torches, those last one week. It resets on Monday. I think these ones don't reset on Monday. It's just whenever you craft them. And then if you have patron, it's nine days actually instead of seven. So I think it's just the moment you craft them. And then obviously your hidden effects just go away after that. If you have any questions, you can drop something down in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer that for you. If you're new around here and you like the channel, 
drop a sub. It always helps out the channel a lot here. And drop a like. If you want to be responsible for a future troll video of mine, you can drop something down in the comments down below and you could be responsible for that. But yeah, on that note, I'll see you all later.